Hello everyone, welcome to Map to Love with Catherine Nicole. These are going to be messages from the universe that are important for you to hear right now. Who's ever listening to this? Messages from your spirit guides, from God, the angels, your loved ones, the ascended masters, uh, just spirit coming through, the universe coming through with messages for you. First, we're going to see what's being activated within you right now. Whenever you're listening to this, this is a timeless message. It's intended to be whenever you are drawn to it, whenever it pops up for you, it's the perfect time for you. Hold on, I'm going to adjust some of my cards here. Okay, let's get started. Spirit, highest and best. What's the main energy? What's being activated right now in your life? Trust. Overcoming doubts, insecurities, patience. So trust. Trust that things that are happening in your life are for a divine reason. Trust that the universe has your back. Trust that your loved ones and guides, spirit guides and angels are working with you to help you transform into this new life. There's P 42 is a 6. Peace, harmony, blessings, beauty coming into your life. This is you trusting your intuition, trusting that love is the answer, trusting that fear is a false reality, realizing how worthy you are and how important you are, and having patience as you are being healed and everything's being worked out. You see that? So trusting in the divine and in divine timing is the key right now. Oh my gosh, you guys have to just see, just can I just show you what popped up at the bottom? The underlying energy for you at this time is the promise. Soulmates, attraction, partnership. 38 is new beginning. So what they're saying is trust in this process, okay? Trust that the promise has been made. Trust. Trust that everything is working out for you in life and there you are being led to new beginnings. And right under that is challenges. So it's, it's blessings and another six. Blessings are going to come out of the challenges that you're facing. Self-imposed limitations, restrictions, blocks, fears, negativity. That's all being transformed right now. So trust the process. The universe is promising you that you're moving into sacred divine partnership or a resurgence and a healing of the one that you're in. Take it as it resonates. They want you to trust in the promise that God and your angels have made to you and trust that you made promises to yourself that you're following through with. That's where your divine guidance is coming from. That's what the changes that are happening are pushing you towards your destiny. The angels that are supporting you right now and working with you right now. Metatron, wisdom. Ooh, look at that. Beautiful, brilliant diamond cut. These are my favorite diamonds, brilliant cut. I like all the sparkles, right? Um, you know, FYI, if, if, you know, anyone's listening, I guess, for the future. <laughs> but I, I like that the sparkliness of this portal that's open, right? All the spiritual guidance on this promise. But ancient wisdom is being unlocked for you right now. Perhaps why I was thinking about a diamond is because this promise, like somebody's going to get a ring soon. So trust that. Trust that you're moving to a higher level commitment, whoever this is resonating with, that, that particular message. But you're gaining wisdom. This journey challenges, contrasts, changes, the relationships you've been in, the jobs that you've had, your family dynamics, your different friendships that you've had throughout your life so far is all part of the journey. It's all part of learning your lessons, understanding your emotions, understanding your relationships, understanding who you are, believing in yourself, and taking the wisdom forward. So Metatron's working with you right now, helping you with this trust and overcoming your insecurities, fears, and doubts. Look at that. Wow. Archangel Metatron is the one right now. Love that. Sacred geometry may mean something to you. 
You shine bright like a diamond. It's time for you to shine. Have mercy on yourself. Forgive yourself. Let go of the past. You're being crowned the king or queen that you are. You're being crowned. You're being blessed with mercy. Things are changing. Things are healing. It's all about the wisdom. Don't be so hard on yourself and others. Let go of the past because you're moving into this new life where you're remembering the promises you made to yourself to be merciful on yourself in this life, to let go easier, to focus on love. See that? Divine mercy. And see, look, blessing you with the wisdom that you need, trusting your spiritual guidance right now on the path, see? You may want to look up Archangel Metatron because, um, you know, get a little more information that may be interesting to you and you may get some more clues in that. But I am interested in sacred geometry. Perhaps you are too. Perhaps reading about sacred geometry and that activation of the Merkaba and things like that are, are of interest to you. And that's part of your ancient wisdom being unlocked. You know, Egypt. I always feel like Egypt. Uh, something being unlocked there. Okay, messages from the universe for you right now. You open up your door to personal healing and happiness when you appreciate what you have right now. When you live in that state of gratitude and appreciation for yourself, how far you've come, how worthy you are, appreciating what you do have and realizing that all this beauty and abundance is blossoming around you. Again, a six, again, another six, beauty and blessings, peace coming in. The door to personal, personal healing and happiness is open to this promise that you made to focus on your happiness, to focus on love, to focus on healing and growth, purification, grace, peace. It's all about learning the lessons and gaining that wisdom, see? Seven is a spiritual number here. Expansion. And then coming up with a plan, writing it down. What do you want? What's important to you? What do you want to manifest? Write it down. This is writing the gratitude list and your strategy on the next moves to make. Spirits working with you. The universe has your back. Listen to the guidance. Trust it. Write down those ideas. Move forward on those creative projects. 21 is a three. That's expansion, growth, creativity, birthing a new cycle empress energy and i always feel like this is the queen of pentacles empress like i've i've worked to be hard to be where i'm at so i'm going to stand in in my power and stand in my worth because i know that i deserve this and then following that guidance for the next steps so you're you're being guided uh, to p come up with a plan, write that outline of that book, write an outline for what this new business idea is, whatever this, the case may be, a strategy to move towards love, writing a love letter, you know, working out a plan of how to be together, whatever that is to you, whatever your personal healing and happiness means to you, that's what's coming for you. And it's going to be different for everyone, right? Perhaps some of you have been feeling constrained financially. So the universe is saying, um, trust the process because you're being led to stability. 13 is death and then rebirth into a four, which is stability. The universe is having mercy on you, helping you with finances, helping you come up with a plan to do that, right? To find healing in this. And if you or your person... Your, your lover, your divine partner have fe been feeling the strain of finances during this time. That's all being, uh, you know, new doors are being opened. See, new doors are being opened for that, for stability. Appreciating what you do have, figuring out a plan when all of, you know, this stuff kind of blows over and you're able to live your life freely, right? Because right now a lot of us feel, you know, perhaps, oh my gosh, you, wait till you see the card. This is exactly what I was going to say. A lot of people feel like they're all tied up. Sorry, I had to get that off the floor. A lot of people feel like they're all tied up here. So they're all tied up with this, um, you know, being quarantined, having to stay inside or not being able to do what they want to do. But this is vibes or blessed changes. During this time where you're feeling this way, it's just 
time for your healing, time to go within, come up with a plan. You don't have to keep yourself tied up. It may seem like you are, but really you're not. You can get out in nature. Nature is beautiful and has so much to offer. Appreciate the beauty that's around you will help you release these self-imposed limitations that you have around your life and, and you know, feeling like you have to hold on so tight and, and not release because look, there's balance coming in. The angel of balance is working with you. The universe wants you to know there's balance being restored in your life. Stability coming in. Trust. Trust. Trust that this is all working out for you. Trust that everything that's changing in the world, in your world, is for the better. Ending cycles, karmic cycles are ending. That's why these things are happening in your life and happening in the universe right now, in the world right now. It's time to end some major karmic cycles. Step into your power. Call your power back. You have power and control over what you decide to do, how you react, how you operate in this world. Nobody else and nothing else has power over you. It's time for you to let go of the distractions. Focus on your priorities. Step into your power because you are manifesting new beginnings in your life. You're manifesting these doors being open for you for new life. Look at that balance and you get yin and yang and we're talking about the promise, sacred divine lovers, two masters coming together. This is a master number, you leveling up yourself, but 1111, right? Two masters coming together in alignment to move forward. Balanced with the masculine and feminine within, balanced with the shadows and light within, coming up with this plan, standing in your power and moving forward. So balance and peace and harmony. You know, another four, the angels are working with you to create, to bring this balance, to help you overcome this anxiety and these fears. That's, you know, exactly what we've been talking about. Doubts, fears, insecurities, being patient. So this is you. This is a time for you to go within and really think about what you've learned. What do you want? Come up with that strategy. The universe is telling you right now that you don't have to stay in this lack energy, this poverty mindset, this stuck mindset. This is all an opportunity for you to figure out what you want, to bring balance to your headspace, right? Toxic thoughts, anxiety, ending this cycle. This is the cycle that's ending. It's a big shift, you guys, in the entire universe. Seriously. Releasing fear. No longer living in fear. That's why all these things are happening. To clear that away for the majority of the collective. Of course, some people are still going to live in the lower vibrations and there's going to be contrast and there's going to be shadows and, and you know the negative path, let's say. But more and more people are following the light. The light will always overcome the darkness. But if we didn't have the shadows in the dark, we wouldn't know the light. So it's all part of us, and that's what you're coming to understand is that the shadows are all part of you. The choices you've made were part of your growth to learn your lessons, that you no longer have to keep yourself tied up and constrained. You can overcome this. This is what the universe is instilling that uh, positivity and, and strength and power within you, that balance is coming. Trust that. It's all about learning the lessons. What did I learn from this? Connecting to your emotions. How has this made me stronger? How has this helped me in my life? Because there's always beauty from the contrast, always, if you choose to see it. Reach out to like-minded people in your community. Growing spiritually, spiritual groups. Maybe it's online right now, but then once everything transpires, it's you reaching out to your family, your tribe. Balance, stable friendships coming in. People you can trust. Community involvement, getting out, doing things, helping humanity somehow. How can you help? How can you be of service to yourself and others? A, gr a lot of spiritual growth right now. And the bottom of this deck is the magician. So ma eight, manifestation. You are manifesting abundance into your life. You are manifesting stability. You are manifesting love. You are manifesting spiritual growth. You have everything you need. See the balance? is coming. You have everything you need. You are creating your reality. So believe that. Believe that you have the power to take control of your life and overcome these lower vibration energies and transform them into the life. You have the into the light. You have the power to do that. You do. You really do. Trust the process. 
trust that it's a time period to grow and to heal and to understand yourself and nature and the nature of humans and the nature of your spirituality, just everything. It's a beautiful time for growth. Okay, these are messages from your loved ones, your spirit guides in heaven. Oh, there we go. I wish I had told you more often how much I love you. You are so beautiful. You are so strong, capable, able, so full of love. And I'm telling you I love you now. And I'm encouraging you to speak your truth and tell others how you feel about them. Love isn't a word. It's not just words that you say. It's a vibration that you live in. And living in this space of appreciation and unconditional love is the key here. That's what your spirit guides, your loved ones are telling you. Live in a place of love. Love is the answer. Love is the only truth. Express yourself. And we will be together again. Don't you worry about that. We're going to be together again. And I've never taken my loving eyes off of you. So I'm always with you, helping guide you, helping lead you, leading the way. But we will be together again. Trust that. Find peace in your own life. Find peace in your heart that that I never leave. There's no such thing as death. I just left my physical body because it was time and now I can help you from where I'm at in a much more powerful way. Remember me by the happy memories we created. Make a photo album. Uh, you know, draw a picture of the fun times. Really connect with your children. It's a good time for that family legacy, creating a legacy, maybe writing, a, I, I feel like for some it would be fun to do a little time capsule and then open it up in a certain amount of years and see what you've learned, what you know now and how your life is transformed in the next five to ten years. It would be fun for you and your entire family and to, you know, just remember your loved ones by the happy memories. They want you to be happy and focus on peace and serenity and healing and abundance and growth. And, and nurturing that inner child, using your imagination again, playing, getting outside. See, getting outside, peaceful water. Water will bring peace. Being near water, on water, just getting outside, enjoying that fresh energy. And look at that. The reason why is because your loved ones and your angels and your spirit guides are sending you loving messages and signs through nature. Butterflies, uh, the flowers, the the. the Pictures you see in the clouds, hummingbirds, like, uh, you know, whatever animals you keep seeing, they're sending you signs, so pay attention. Get out in nature and pay attention. Open your eyes. See the beauty. And they're telling you it's okay to cry. Tears cleanse the soul. You know, when you cry, your tears release over 30 toxins from your body, so it's natural to cry. And sometimes we cry, it seems like for no reason. You could be helping your family cry, the collective cry and release. It's just part of a release. I mean, I cry happy tears of release. Um, I release for other people. I release for myself. And it is cleansing of the soul. And it's okay. Because so much love is being poured upon you right now and into your life right now. Believe that and trust that and know that. a little bit but it's time for a rebirth and it's time to focus on your emotions focus on love you see that you're getting signs of love from the universe and at the bottom it says i am with the rest of the family so just know that your loved ones are all together and they're just they're just cheering you on wanting you to learn your lessons to live your best life to gain that wisdom to worry less and live more in the present moment. But they're with the rest of the family. Trust that. Know that. Okay. What's uh, working to be manifested in your life? What Where does spirit want you to focus? What's coming in? What can you expect during this time period? Highest and best. Messages from the universe for you at this time. Justice is coming. 
fair and just decisions. Do what you know is right. Stand up for your beliefs. Yeah, stand stand up for what you believe in. This is standing in your power. See, that solar plexus chakra energy, standing in your power, setting healthy boundaries, stand up for what you believe in. You are manifesting new beginnings. You're manifesting peace, balance, justice. So if you're battling in the, in the legal system, things are going to come into balance for you. Fair and just decisions. Always intend what's highest and best, and that is what will happen. And do what you know is right. Live your life with integrity, and you will be blessed for that. Um, you know, some things may have not worked out, and why you're going, you're getting this justice because they haven't worked out the way that you thought. Not seeing the positive in a situation, crying over spilled milk. So there's that. Okay, so this is what your the universe is telling you. Instead of dwelling in this energy of what hasn't worked out, the regrets, the resentments, the coulda, shoulda, wouldas, the why don't they want to be with me and I want to be with them, those kinds of feelings I'm feeling for relationships, friendships, um, family dynamics. But by crying those last tears, shedding those tears, realizing that now you have this opportunity to go towards this two of cups, the promise, the sacred union, the soulmate love, that that's the clarity that you're getting for justice in your life, to realize that you have the power to find balance and peace within your own heart space and then share that with another. You have the power to do that. And look at that. Queen of water, tender-hearted, empathetic, patient, and loving, being open to love, connecting to your emotions, allowing yourself to heal, relationships develop to a new level, trust your intuition, care for yourself and others. Yeah, this is caring enough about yourself to cut through the illusions and knowing that fear is a false reality and dwelling in the lower vibration energies and keeping your focus in the past only holds you back. Your power is in the now. So right now, the universe, God, is, tell, is encouraging you that there's unconditional love that's available to you from your loved ones, from everyone, from the universe to help you heal and open up to this grand, sacred love, this balanced love, this honest, truthful love. Do you see that? You see how that's happening? But it's up to you to open your heart space and allow yourself to heal. Have mercy on yourself and others, you know? Let go of the past. Look at that. Take charge. The Emperor, Archangel Michael is with you, helping you take charge. Look, finding that stability in your health, in the material world. Organization and logic, structure and discipline. Yeah, write out that strategy. Write out that plan. Leadership. It's time for you to take the leadership role in your own life and communicate, operate, listen, express yourself from unconditional love. That's the key. Balancing the, the mind and the heart taking action, but it's very balanced action, very stable action. Structure, stability coming into your life. And this can also, and now I saw what comes out next, and I was going to say that, this also can signify that divine feminine, by you, you know, letting go of the past, regrets, resentments, you know, all of those things, gaining this emotional intelligence, transforming your life, opening yourself up to this love. This emperor is coming in for this Ten of Cups. Do you see that? Do you see how that works when you leave the past behind, when you walk away, when you realize that you're manifesting your life and you find peace and balance within your own self, you attract this kind of love. And there's some child like looking at this like, yes, finally I get to be here, bringing families together, whatever this means to you, but a contented and rewarding family life is yours. Your emotional and material needs are met, trustworthy relationships. That's what you're moving into. Someone you can trust, people you can trust, friends you can trust, getting out in the community, your tribe, trusting the process. It's all about trust, trusting your own intuition. It's about your intuition being highlighted here, psychic gifts, trusting that. You're being led towards this Ten of Cups. That's what's manifesting. Yeah, ending these cycles. These are the cycles that are ending. The end of a difficult situation, embrace the change and expect things to get better now. Recovering from an addiction, codependencies, whatever this is, this is really, really tough cycle. But that's what's coming into balance is ending that cycle. That's what's manifesting by letting go of the past, using your logic, 
This is the divine feminine connecting to your head space and your heart space and using logic like the emperor would. So whether you're a man or a woman, this is you coming into balance and being logical, but also connecting to your emotions at the same time when you're moving forward. And it's just being objective, clearing away that no lo what no longer serves you and seeing the humor in the situation. This is you taking yourself out of the 3D world and seeing things from spirit's point of view, trusting that process. It's all working out for you. It's all part of the plan and, and holding your vision for the magic that's coming in your life, the blessings that are coming in your life. Wow. Yeah, look, oh, dang it, that fell. But we have life experience, the tower, right? That's the change. That's what needs to happen. That's the cycle ending, leaving difficult situation. Archangel Shamuel working with you. A significant life event. A powerful revelation that leads to change. Time to spread your wings. Yeah, exactly. Time. Look at that. Time to spread your wings and open to this divine sacred love. Open to new life. Uh, take charge of your life. Take the lead. Move forward out of this toxic energy. Use your logic as well as your emotional guidance system to lead you forward, right? Time for change. And look at this, the fool. Yeah, the portal is open. That's what Archangel Metatron and all your loved ones and all the angels and guides are telling you. The portal is open for this new life. Take that leap of faith. Follow your dreams. Unexpected opportunities are being brought to you now. This emperor could be coming in and offering you something. And it's time for new life and to jump right through, right? Jump right through. Remember the promise you made to yourself to live your best life. Because I am telling you, I know for a fact that we all intended to come down into this life, into this, you know, experience this physical life and live it in the best way possible, in the most grand way possible. Love. That's what we came here to experience, love. So if you're not in a loving situation, if you're not loving yourself, if you do not feel like what you're doing or where you're at is that unconditional love, then write a strategy and plan of, of one step at a time how to move out. If you want to reach out to me for a personal reading healing, we can help with that plan. But it's time to take that leap of faith and, and be logical about it as well. Look at that. Take a leap of faith. Get that wheel turning. These are karmic blessings, karmic cycles ending. Archangel Michael, again, coming in and saying, take charge. A time of positive change. A situation suddenly moves forward. Fortune is on your side. Are you ready to move forward? That's the key here. Are you ready? Are you balanced? Do, if if this your sacred lover comes to you and says, let's do this, let's go, are you ready? Because if you're not ready, get ready. Because that's what's happening. This is the cycle ending into this brand new, blessed, abundant life. Balanced all elements. Balanced within yourself. Yin and yang energy. And, and moving forward towards your destiny. Contentment. Peace. Happy family life. Trust. Trust that it's all working out for you. And at the bottom of this deck is balance. See, look, the magician balance. There's balance coming in. Justice. The scales coming into balance. This is the, the temperance. Finding that balance. Archangel Zedekiel working with you to find that balance within yourself. This is the two of cups. This is twin flame soulmate recognition to me. The need for balance and moderation in your own life brings a balanced and person coming in. So cooperate and compromise instead of fighting. Wait for the perfect timing. Trust your guidance. Trust. Trust that there's things that are being worked out. Why there might be a pause right now. Time for you to heal. Time for your person to heal. Time for the universe, for earth to heal. There is balance coming to everybody's world and environment. Believe that. Trust that. Trust that. Let's see if I can get this a little better. Shift the light a little bit. Trust in your guidance. Trust yourself on this journey. There's some ending messages from spirit. It's all part of the life experience. If, if you can take one thing away from any readings that, that I do or anyone does, that it's all part of your plan. It's all about learning the lessons. 16 is a 7. Lessons to keep you moving forward on your journey. That's that wisdom, see? That's that wisdom that you're gaining. 
Have mercy on yourself. Have mercy on your lover. Trust. Any messages for you right now? Mother Mary is with you, bringing love and peace into your life. Let go of the need to be right. Choose peace. Mother healing is possible at this time. Mother daughter, mother son, mother earth, healing. Kali Ma, very powerful energy, death and rebirth. This is the facing the fears. That's what's happening during this time. Third eye awakening, knowing that it's an illusion. Fears are an illusion. Major spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to soar. This is your chance to fly. This is your chance to take that leap of faith into new life. Divine healing is occurring in your life. Look at this heart healing with you and your lover, your family, your friends. It's a time for healing and heart awakening. Hilarion, honor your sensitivity. Retreat to recharge and heal. Your light can support others. When you take care of yourself, when you nurture yourself, when you allow yourself to heal and you extend that lighthearted energy out to your loved ones, your family, your friends, the universe, it helps everyone heal. Divine healing is happening in your life and in your sacred union. Dwal cool. I think that's how you say that. Dharma unfolding. Yeah, this is just, part, like I said, part of the journey. It's just all part of your master plan of leveling up to mastership, of living in your purpose, moving towards your destiny. Remember that you are on a path. Take one step at a time to happiness. Oh my gosh. And we just talked about that one step at a time. Door to personal healing and happiness is open. Sanat Kumara. Light activations. Shine your light. Your internal guidance is coming through loud and clear. Yeah, this is all about you trusting yourself. Trusting your own intuition. Going within. Finding your truth. Facing yourself. Taking off the mask. Being authentic. What do I want? What's important to me? What have I learned so far? But there's love and peace and harmony and healing and light body activations coming to you right now. The universe is working with you to help you manifest the life of your dreams. The portal is open to new life. It's time to take that leap of faith towards your destiny, towards your dreams. You're being supported and protected the entire way. I appreciate you all. Reach out to me if you, when you feel guided. I am here for you. And I'm wishing you so many blessings on this journey.